Well, it turns out Wisconsin is about 10,000 nurses short of where we need to be in the workforce. That's according to the Wisconsin Nurses Association. And adding fuel to the fire, the pandemic is making it harder for soon to be nurses to get their clinical experience at local hospitals. News 8 Now's Tyler Job explains. Soon to be nurses at Viterbo University ran into a somewhat unsurprising scenario when COVID hit. We did have to leave the clinical site for a lot of reasons. Hospitals closed their doors from outside guests and not enough personal protective equipment was available. We've had a combination of catch up plans. Uh, we've also modified some of our use of simulation. But Turbo's Dean of College of Nursing, Martha Sheckle, says undergrads need up to 500 hours logged to complete their clinicals for graduation. Some students right now are backlogged. In a couple of facilities, we were put on pause for a few weeks. But for those students doing their work at Mayo Clinic in La Cross, they're catching up. We brought all the nursing students back. Chief Nursing Officer Jason Fratsky says the hospital has asked them to do more and they've responded. You got to look long term and I think what you're getting at is we want to make sure we continue to have that workforce available to us and make sure those nurses have a chance to graduate on time. Shekel has some good news to share. We fully anticipate students to graduate on time as they did in the spring as well. The state needs nurses more than ever. My hope is that this is really a call to serve for any prospective nursing student. Especially in a time where patient care is most important. In La Crosse, this is Tyler Job, News 8 Now. And putting an exclamation point on this problem, the Nursing Association says the state's population in people aged 65 to 84 will jump 90% by 2034. And about half of the nurses in the workforce are 55 years of age or older.